Rose play. Treasure run. Wait, are we doing the treasure run? Yeah, we failed it last time. Oh, we're failures. Um, no, no, that's I wouldn't I wouldn't push it that far. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's been a long fucking time. Oh, and how the time. The dun, the dun. And we. Oh wow. Okay, that. Uh, that was, that was really pretty well fancy, played. eh? Yeah. yeah. yeah I haven't played in footwork. I, thank you. I haven't played in a while. Um, actually, I haven't played since our last recording. We normally like to go two sessions a week. Uh, last week was a little different. Um, so it's been a while. So we're not quite as practiced as we usually are. Um, uh, the I came up with something the other day. Um, we we're not quite uh, as far as saying how to be successful financially uh, via YouTube. I can't really tell you that because we haven't done it yet. But um, as far as being f uh, feeling good and enjoying yourself, I do have a lot of tips and stuff. And uh, we had a uh, a guy, a um, another creator. Um, fuck. <laughs> Telling, compl luck, telling really complicated right. stories and doing this is really hard. But um, he asked he asked me to take a look take a look at his stuff and and tell him what I uh, what I thought. And while I was doing that, oh shit! Ah! I yeah! came up with a really Magic. great um, a great Analogy? line. Okay. Yeah. Fuck! Everything went quiet and I thought the power went out again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we're just now we're worried. We got yeah. sort of stress. Yeah. We, we had an ice storm recently, and uh, now everything's melting, so that's probably what's happening. Fucking water's getting in the shit. Sorry. Why do we keep all of our power things outside? Try not to crush yourself between anything and that brick. Uh, but, sorry, you were saying about... Uh, yeah, I came advice? up with a really good um, thing to say for people who are new. Um, fucking shit. Anyway. Uh, it's just a great line because a lot of people say be yourself, but that doesn't like who you are now Isn't necessarily who you want to be on your channel or in life So what I said was find yourself comma then be yourself <laughs> well, That's actually a really good way to put it because it's true like <clears throat> you could be yourself, but Five years from now you might realize man that guy was an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah I, I didn't really want to be that guy and if Last, I had just kept trying to be that guy, I would have succeeded. Or I guess two Januarys ago, um, I, I thought I should be myself, and I really like who that who that person was back then. I like me now, although I'm not I'm not done. You shouldn't really ever feel like you're done working on your personality. <laughs> That's part of what makes good people good is that they always think, "Am I the asshole here?" Well, I I just remember this. Uh... This sort of like life anecdote. I didn't expect to come up, but it did in in like my real life like this week. Once uh, my dad said to me, "Our dad, I guess." Yes, yeah. <laughs> it does. Oh, um, your dad? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy. Sure. Um, that he had nothing more to learn from us. Yeah, yeah. And that. we just both started laughing because it's like, well, you're never done learning. No, no. You just if, you're never. Well, if you're done learning, then you're done living. If you're not learning, you're dying. <clears throat> well, you're at least not no. living well. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> if you're not learning, you're dying. That's Those it. are the options. That's it. You have two options. You can either learn or you can die. Sometimes, if you don't learn, you die. Sometimes, if you aren't learning, you're dying. I don't know why I keep repeating myself, but I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to do all this stuff at the same time. Can you fall um, down there? Because I don't know which way you're supposed to go. Otherwise, no. This is a secret. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're not yeah, not supposed to fall to your death. No. There is a cipher coin, though. Cipher! Cipher, cipher! Oh, hello. They did a good job with those potions. Yeah, they like look how cool. They, they slow down and they don't fall. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's hard. It's way harder than you think to program a game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially things like physics. Uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting when you look at how a game is programmed. Because the language you write a game in is directly related to... Okay, didn't see that coming. I yeah, that was gonna that, kill us. that's one of the only weird things about this game, is that as far as falling down, it's not always visually clear as and to where you And that's be. another challenge. Even if you can get your game to work right, if people don't know what you know, it still might not work. Like, are you supposed to go down... No, that's fire, right? Yeah, you're supposed to go down this way. Little blobs of lava. But I have a pretty fucking crazy story. And this is one of those things that goes to... It's not really... Actually, it's not, it's not crazy. It's just one of those, like, it's like 
situations you get yourself into that you wouldn't expect. Um, and it just goes to, to kind of like part of the point of the some of the, sometimes the worst things that are happening are end up gonna be the the best stories. Um, so we had an ice storm, and uh, work was fucking nuts, and the power went out at work, <laughs> and we're crazy busy because of an ice storm, and uh, so everyone wants pizza, and now the ovens don't work, and the phones don't work, so we can't even tell people that we don't, uh, that we can't make their pizzas. Oh shit, so you've already promised people, and you're not sending anything. Yep. Yeah. And we oh. can't even tell them. We can't, like, the phones were plugged into the power, so we couldn't even say. And you wouldn't even know what their numbers are, so it's not like you guys could, like, phone them on your cell. Uh, we had some of them printed off, so we had people on their cell phones just calling them, saying, hey, there's just no way we're getting your pizza to you tonight. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, it was pretty rough. So, like, and that was, like, a, that was an 11-hour day for me, and at the, it was, like, seven days in a straight work, and so I'm fucking exhausted. And I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm like, I'm, I got sent home finally, and uh, I uh, walk home in the in the freezing rain, Secret. just fucking soaked. And uh, I get home to my apartment, and the power's off at my apartment, which I expected because I'm close to work. And um, <laughs> so I get into the hallway, hoping there's an emergency light. Nope, no emergency lights in the hallway, and there's no natural light in the hallway, no windows. It's a sealed fucking box. It is pitch black. <laughs> and so, so you just, like, did you phone light it? Like, what was your, well, that's what was your backup? Thing. At about noon, my phone died. <sighs> so I have no one to call, no one to ask for help, no flashlight. <laughs> so you just... So, so I just held the wall and counted the doors. And, like, I knew because there's a hallway and an elevator before my, my apartment. So I got lucky on that one. So I get to what I'm hoping is my apartment, and it turned out it was. <laughs> yeah, did you feel the door for the number, or did you just go for the lock? No, it's not It's not carved in there. Or, or it might be carved in there. I didn't even think of that. But I knew where I was like appropriate to it. For some reason, the protocol for the landlord is to close the doors in the hallway in that situation. In the event now, of a power outage? Yeah, like in a, in a fire, I get. That makes sense. But in a power outage, let's close the doors so it, like, confuse people or something? I don't know, man. That seems like a fire hazard. But, um, yeah. So I bumped into two doors. <laughs> Almost face first. <laughs> well, because you're expecting them to be open. They're always open, yeah. There's no reason to close them unless there's a fire. Yeah, so that was my situation. And then I finally get to sleep. Power's still out. And then I f I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna go to sleep. Now, normally I go to sleep to Netflix, uh, which is not a good habit. But, um, but that's just how it is. And so I try, I'm trying to get to sleep without any noise. And I uh, finally get to sleep and the building's fire alarm goes off. Wait, I thought this was during a power outage. Yeah, apparently it, apparently it works. <laughs> I, I guess like it's a good idea to have that system work. Yeah. <laughs> so was um, there a fire? No, uh, so I see the fire, the, the, the fire station's right down the street. So they were there really quick, which is cool. <laughs> knowing that they'll be here right quick as soon as you need them. As fast but, they get um, down the pole. Yeah, so I can see them across, just sitting on the street uh, in their in their fire truck. So I'm thinking like it's probably not an actual fire. Uh, yeah, because the last time it went off, it wasn't an actual fire. It was just a false alarm. So I felt like such an asshole after I did this, like such an entitled prick. But I texted my landlord. <laughs> I'm like, should I evacuate? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, as soon as I sent it, I'm like, what an asshole. You just texted somebody to, like, who's probably dealing with the problem. Um, hey, is the alarm going off actually an alarm? <laughs> yeah, so that was my fucking crazy day. And that was, uh, it also made me realize that even my worst day is really not that bad. Because the worst thing I had to deal with was loud noises and darkness. <clears throat> and there are people whose best days are uh, worse than that. That's my yeah. story. Yeah, that's true. But the, I think the the darkness in the stairwell thing is kind of ridiculous. I don't really understand why you're supposed to create less yeah. paths. Well, all I could think when I when, like I'm standing at the 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 fucking precipice. Oh fuck! It doesn't it doesn't spawn those in. I can't get to that secret up there. You could get out. Oh, what the fuck am I talking about? I have fucking platforms. <laughs> oh jeez, yeah, that makes a big difference. And it it would have been game over if I was playing Shovel Knight. Um, 
This is the, look, I'm gonna look at these this the audio recording when I get to this episode. It's just gonna be all me. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, all right. We all have our stories to tell. We all have our stories to tell. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um, oh yeah, I'm standing at the the precipice between dark darkness and light, wondering what to do. And uh, the only thing I can think of is that scene from 28 Weeks Later, where they have the the night scope in the subway. Oh, <laughs> dude, it's like imagine as dark as you've ever seen it. Like normal nighttime has a certain glow. Like there was still like I, like my apartment was um, I could walk around in my apartment um, with the with all the lights off because there's still enough moonlight and whatnot. Um, but in there, it was pitch fucking black. I mean, nothing. If someone else was in there doing the same thing as me, who didn't have a, a um, oh no, oh no, oh fuck. Uh, oh, think quickly, boy. think holy fuck. Yeah, uh, you thought quickly, but he keeps getting squeezed between the roof and the block. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. No, oh, I already did it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if uh, if someone else had forgotten their flashlight and bumped into me, uh, it would have been a fucking brawl. <laughs> Yeah, well, it definitely would have been some serious confusion. Yeah, I feel like you would have hurt each other, though. Maybe. I remember it being really... Well, like, I just walked home in the freezing rain, so my glasses were all fogged up. I got my, like, my hood up, two hoods up, because it was so cold. So I probably wouldn't have actually heard them. Probably would have just bumped into them. And it, oh, fuck. Not again. Not again! <laughs> Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Not again!